Have you ever just felt like you can't get your blanket folded right and you don't remember how you folded it to fit the bottom of your backpack or maybe your bedroll straps? Like, I feel ya, okay? So I came up with something. I've been doing this a long time. I do with all my blankets and it works out perfectly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your blanket out, you're gonna take your string, and your string is going to stretch the width of your blanket, just like this, okay? So end to end. Now, I cut my string um, to that length because I knew what length it needed to be. Um, but if you don't, just tie a knot on one side and you'll be good. Take your string then, um, once you get it to length, okay? And then you're gonna fold it into even thirds. So you gotta play around with this a little bit. I'm just gonna fold this so it is in three parts, just like this, all right? Once I get that done, this is one third the length of my blanket, okay? So, at this point now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take one of these ends and a bend, just like this, so this is one third, and I'm gonna place a knot here on the end. And what that's gonna do is that's going to um, allow me not to have to keep measuring the width of my blanket for my thirds, okay? So, now, at this point, what I said was I'm gonna use these inner strands so it's contrasting to my blanket. So I'm gonna pull them out a little bit. I don't need really, really, really long strands, but enough that I can sew. So I'm gonna take about two foot of strand here from the inside, just like this. We're gonna cut this thing free. All right, so we have now our piece of rope. I'm gonna begin to sew a nice and neat wrap around the edge of my blanket. Now you can make this as nice and fancy as you want. You can make this as sloppy as you want. Listen, it's your blanket. You decide what you wanna do with it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put three nice little wraps here. Just like that. So that gives me a nice little indexing mark right now on my blanket. Um, to finish this off, a couple different things that you can do. You can knot it. I'm gonna just take it back through the blanket itself like this, those wraps, pull that in through, and then I'm gonna do the same with the other end. So I'm just gonna tuck it all through here. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. That will give me two indexing marks that split the blanket into three even sections. So again, I'm gonna come from the edge of the blanket inward. I'm gonna take my needle and I'm going to begin wrapping this around. All right, so now what we have is one half of the blanket complete. So from the end across, you can see that indexing mark and it stands out really nicely because it's white. I go in another third we hit the next indexing mark, and then we go to the end, okay? So, I wanna do the same thing on the other side. That's gonna give us even indexing marks on both sides of the blanket. All right, so camp's over. You want the perfect fold every single time. You don't wanna play around with it. Um, now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use these index marks. So you're gonna take the end, and you're gonna come across past the first index mark to the second one. What that's gonna do is give your fold at the first index mark. So I just line that up really nice and easy right here. Perfect, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side. We got that folded, we're gonna take this end and we're gonna fold across. It should match up perfectly on both sides. And now you're good to go. Now I know this seems OCD, and I, I'll agree with that. Not everybody, this is not gonna be a thing for everybody, but I have found that with some of my larger blankets and some of these blankets, the thirds, okay, if I'm gonna use that often, which I like 
folding these blankets in a third for bed rolls. I think they lay a little bit better. They're not as short and stubby. Um, it makes it way better and more consistent. You don't have your blanket off. It's nice and dressed on each side really, really well. And it's, it's just a fun little project. I feel like if you can enhance your gear to make your life quicker and easier when you're out there in the field, go for it. Plus we like to play around with our gear. So a lot of my blankets have these indexing marks. I've been using them for a long time, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, and if you're, if you're the kind of person you're just wild and on the fly, then don't do it. That's fine too. <laughs> but it's another option, another tool for the toolbox. So this was Dan Wolak of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods. Wow.